Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Gerald. Today, we're gonna go over a question I get asked a lot. What is a platform engineer? And it's interesting because we've kind of used this term in the past and now it's become a little something different. Um, people ask me, is a platform engineer just a software engineer? Is it the same thing as an SRE or cyber liability engineer? And kind of, you know, we're gonna cover what it actually is today and hopefully this will help. Now, when we're talking about a platform engineer, I like to draw the comparison of a software engineer so that we can establish common context around the responsibilities because they're, they're similar enough, but they're also different enough to highlight those differences. So let's talk about it. All right, so let's say we have a software engineer and uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this SWE here to represent software engineer, sweet. Right, and we talk about their responsibilities. So part of their responsibilities as a software engineer is to write code. All right. Now the code that they're actually writing is related to an application. This application is made because the business wants something that's going to go in front of customers a lot of the time to enhance their competitive advantage via software. So the software engineers work very close with the business, right? very close with the business in order to make the app the business wants and then put that app, we'll use a different color here, in front of customers, right? Because this, the business will give them a competitive advantage or whatever other reason, whatever problem it'll solve. And in the end, in some way or another, it will make them money. Right. So this is the role of a software engineer in short. The code that's written, the type of software engineer it is, this is kind of the common aim. We have an app that we want to get out in front of customers and we want to do that thing because in one way or another, it will make us money as a business. Okay, then, we have our platform engineer. And I'll just do P eng for short here. Now, like a software engineer, the platform engineer also writes code, right? But instead of that code being written for an app to then sit on top of it, the code is written for infrastructure. I'll just use infra for short. Infrastructure related items. Now, what is Infrastructure. Infrastructure in this case, you can think of as all the things my application needs to actually be deployed to customers, to actually accomplish this step here of getting this in front of customers. Now, these infrastructure related tasks could be done by a software engineer, but the key thing that we have to keep in mind is the time that it takes. The time it takes to accomplish these items is high a lot of the time, especially in an enterprise and a company that's heavily regulated, etc. So we end up creating a separate team that can go by many names. It could be anything from a cloud team to a platform team to cloud center of excellence to like insert whatever name an organization wants to use to actually communicate what these people are doing, right? And the types of things that the types of code that these people focus on would be on all of this infrastructure related code so that the software engineers can get this application out as quickly as possible. So if you really think about it, the software engineer is kind of the customer of the platform engineer. The platform engineer builds this platform and the software engineer consumes this platform, which is composed of automated infrastructure. And then now all of a sudden we're able to, because of that consumption, actually deploy our code and get our app all the way to in front of our customer. And this is a very critical function for an organization to figure these things out. Now, some specific responsibilities and things that the platform engineer may be doing, they may be focused on, you know, writing infrastructure code, maybe using something like Terraform, or they may also be, of course, working with cloud providers specifically around specific application architectures and making sure that we have these things. They're able to be stood up in a self-service manner so that the software engineer can go and get what they need without needing a whole lot of human intervention because that 
also increases the amount of time it takes to get an app in front of customers. All right, there's a ton of other things that are done here. There's specific languages that maybe lean, lend itself well to the platform engineering side of things. You'll see a lot of Python, you'll see a lot of like, you know, JS, Node.js specifically. Uh, you'll see Go, of course, right? You'll see languages like Rust, right? All these different types of languages you'll see spread throughout these types of roles. Now, this platform engineering role also has a lot of overlap with roles like the SRE, Site Reliability Engineer, a DevOps Engineer. Uh, I would encourage us not to get too caught up on the title itself and more so look at what is this person, because this person could also have a software engineer title. What are they actually doing? What's the type of code that they're writing? And what's the purpose of the code that they're writing? And that'll give you an idea as to if this person is serving in a platform engineering capacity. I hope that this helps. If you learned something, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.